Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the Escalations. And today's Escalation, the Sweeney Scrumptiousness. Scur, scur whatever that word is. Uh, this is a free level Escalation, and for level 1 we have one target who we must kill with an amputation knife and while disguised as a medic. So for this challenge we are going to be bringing with us our silenced pistol and we will be starting undercover in the medical area just to save a bit of time running around from the start all the way to the back of the map just to get an outfit. So right from the start here we're gonna break our little blend spot we're gonna make our way in to see the doctor veer off to our left so that he doesn't spot us because he is an enforcer and just behind the curtain rail there we will find the amputation knife so we can exit the medical center around to our right and around to the back of the center we're gonna pull out our silence pistol and take out the camera above the pit uh, garage entrances and then a follow a, a long round and round to the bins and we will find a baseball and we're going to pick up that baseball enter back into the rear of the medical center open the door to reception throw our baseball against the wall and make our way back outside and when the young lady comes to investigate we can render her unconscious and this lady always comes to investigate first so we do have to get rid of her once we can render her unconscious we can drag her out the back and into the dumpster provided and all we're going to do now basically is rinse and repeat for our first target or our only target for this level there will be more so there she is so we're just going to throw the baseball against the wall that's going to get her attention we're going to make our way outside and await her arrival and while we do we're going to select the amputation knife wait for her to get right inside the room make our way inside and either cut her throat or stab her in the shoulder and once we've eliminated our target we can then drag her outside and into the dumpster provided so that is level one taken care of uh, luckily for us the exit is not far because we are wearing the medical outfit the ambulance is now a viable exit and that is just around the corner here so that is level one taken care of and that was a nice easy run into this escalation so there we go two minutes not bad so moving on to level two and we now have a second target and all bodies unconscious or dead must be hidden which we've been doing anyway so there's no change there so for this challenge or for this level of the challenge nothing will change we will be bringing with us our silenced pistol and starting undercover in the medical facility So right from the start once again we are going to exit from our blend spot here behind the counter make our way through to the doctor and around to our left and behind the screens here we will find our amputation knife we're going to exit the medical center and around to our right once we're around the back here we're going to pull out our silence pistol once again take out the camera and continue on and once we get round to the far end here we can then pick up the baseball make our way into the rear of the medical center open the door to reception throw our baseball against the wall and exit out the rear and again the non-target re receptionist medic will come in first of all so we're just going to close the door get behind her render her unconscious and we're going to drag her body outside and hide her in the dumpster provided so just like we did in the first level we're now going to rinse and repeat the same procedure 
with the baseball against the wall to lure in our first target. So baseball against the wall with the door open, make our way outside, select the amputation knife and await the arrival of Irene. So once she's fully into the room we can make our way inside, stick her with the amputation knife and drag her body out into the dumpster out the back. So that is one target taken care of. Our next target, if you can see on the minimap, is just outside the front of the medical center. And there are about five or six other people around this area as well. So what we're gonna do is make our way around to the front of the medical center and trigger this conversation between our target and another medic before making our way back the way we came and there's a, another medic right here who patrols up and down and once he moves away from that gurney he will make his way over to the left and when he passes us stood here we can then get behind him, render him unconscious and we're going to drag his body around to the back of the medical center where there is a second awaiting dumpster so just against the back wall there so we get this guy safely tucked up and we now have a small area in which to work so we're going to retrace our steps back around to the front of the medical center and we're going to wait right here and hopefully by now our target has finished his conversation and he will eventually make his way back here to sit down on the bench which is just behind us and once he passes us we're gonna pull out our amputation knife and we're gonna throw it at his head there we go and just like we did with his colleague we're gonna take his body and drag him around to the back of the medical center and into the waiting dumpster so that is essentially a level two taken care of all that's left for us to do is to approach the ambulance and make good our escape directly onto the racetrack i noticed and go in the opposite direction to the race cars not very wise So moving on to level 3 and we now have a third target and this target is even more out in the open than our previous target Jeff Castle. So some things have also been moved, removed or changed in some way and that will be some of the dumpsters. So for level 3 exactly the same loadout as levels one and two just need our silence pistol and starting in the medical center so right from the start and off the bat we're going to exit from our blend spot here make our way through into the doctor's area around to our left and grab the amputation knife which thankfully has not been moved we're going to exit the medical center and around to our right and we're going to pull out our silence pistol and eliminate the camera above the pit door and you'll notice that the trash can or the dumpster that we brought our second target to is no longer here but no matter we're going to carry on regardless so we're going to finish making our way around to the back of the medical center grab the baseball make our way inside open the door to reception and throw the baseball at the wall and that will get the attention of the receptionist medic and we can then make our way inside get behind her and render her unconscious and we have to hide her body now we have two bodies to hide in this area and luckily there is still one dumpster that will accommodate two bodies so we're not worrying just yet. So once we have this young lady safely stashed up in the dumpster, we can make our way back inside and we can rinse and repeat the same trick again for our target Irene. 
make our way back outside once the baseball is against the wall select the amputation knife wait for our target to arrive and then stick her or slice her throat I think that's the first time I've actually managed to sneak up on her so once target number one has been eliminated we can drag her body outside and into the awaiting dumpster and from here on out we're gonna do things exactly the same as we did before so we're gonna make our way around to the front of the medical center and we're going to trigger the conversation between our second target and his colleague there and then retrace our steps back and await the medical officer in this area to walk past us and when he does we can then render him unconscious and you're wondering where we're gonna put him but we're gonna take him exactly where we took him before so around to the back of the medical center here and towards the awaiting trash can or garbage disposal but we're going to make our way into the Kronstadt pits where there is a crate so we didn't have much further to travel so with our friend that they're safely tucked up in the crate indoors we can then retrace our steps back round to where we rendered him unconscious and await the arrival of our second target. Heart attack's going to be the least of your problems mate. So we're going to select our amputation knife and throw it at the back of his head once he's past us. And again grab his body and we're going to drag him and put him with his colleague in the crate in the Kronstadt pits and at this point it must must remember pick up the amputation knife I've left it in his head for the time being until we get him safely tucked up and be but before we leave make sure you collect it because we do need it for our third target so once target number two has been safely disposed of we can make our way back round to the front of the medical center. I opt to go the long way, but you could cut right through the reception area. And there is our third and final target. And he's gonna patrol around this small area here. So we're gonna grab the coconut from the bottom of the tree there. And just as the guard, our target starts to move, we're gonna throw said coconut just at these bollards as he's moving we're going to throw the coconut that's going to get his attention he's going to come around to investigate and we're going to make our way around the bollards sneak up behind him render him unconscious and then we're going to drag him down into the underpass beneath the track here now there is a crate available down here but it is also occupied or well, not quite yet but will be shortly so once we get towards the end of the tunnel we're going to let go of our friend here make our way through the door on our left and in here we find a crate and a cleaner so we're going to get behind the cleaner render him unconscious and we're going to hide his body in the crate provided there we go and we're gonna go and get him some company. So we're gonna make our way back out into the underpass, collect up our victim here. We're gonna drag his body to the crate. And when we get there, we can then uh, eliminate him with the amputation knife. So we're just gonna drop him right by the crate here, select our amputation knife and throw it at his head. And then we're going to dump his body in the crate to keep his colleague there nice and warm. So that is level 3 taken care of. All that's left for us to do is to make good our escape. And for the third and final time I am going to run straight for the ambulance as we know there are no enforcers or obstacles in our path. 
So there we go, that is one more escalation dealt with, taken care of, and we never have to visit it again. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.